Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new chapter named as Acids, Bases and Salts. Okay, so you might have uh, learned students in your previous classes that the sour and the bitter taste of fruits are due to acids and sour and bitter tastes of food is due to acids and bases okay so how we will check that there is some acid in the food or there is some base in a particular food so and you might have also studied that when acid acids are sour in taste okay and change the color of a litmus paper so what is the effect on litmus paper okay now here I will write acid now here I will write base so I will tell you the effect of acid and bases on litmus paper so acid turns litmus paper blue to red okay and whereas the bitter bases acids are sour in taste bases are bitter in taste okay and these changes color of litmus paper from red to blue so it is opposite to the what acid does okay students so this is all you have learnt in your previous classes uh, so this was just a summary to uh, make you uh, recall that what you have studied in your previous classes students so now let's move to understanding the chemical properties of understanding the chemical properties understanding the chemical properties of acids and base okay students so so students there is one term as called as olfactory indicators which is used for acids and bases all factory indicators so why acids and bases are called as olfactory indicators so these indicators tell us whether whether a substance is acidic or not is acidic or not or you can say or it is basic okay by changing color okay and substances in which the odor also changes odor changes in acidic or basic medium okay students so these substances whose odor changes in acidic or basic mediums are called as olfactory indicators so now let's discuss about how we will check that the uh, odor of a substance change when acid or base adds to that
okay so student now we are discussing an activity to check whether acids and bases are olfactory indicators or not okay so the first step in the activity is take some finely chopped finely chopped onions in a plastic bag okay along with some along with some strips of clean cloth okay students tie up the bag tightly tie up the bag tightly okay and leave overnight in the fridge and leave overnight in the fridge okay students so the cloth strips can now be used to test for the cloth strips now be used to test for acids and bases okay so students now we are discussing an activity so this is the first step of the activity in which you have to take the finely chopped onions in a plastic bag okay and tie it with the cloth tie it in the bag and leave it overnight in the fridge okay take two of these cloth strips and check their order okay put a few drops of put a few drops of hcl which is an acid hcl acid on one strip and NaOH which is a base on other another strip okay students now rings both cloth strips with water okay so these are the steps students you have to follow one by one and again check their order and again check their order okay now not your observation so you will see that there are some order change when you add an acid or a base on on these cloth strips okay students so this is why they are called as olfactory substances or olfactory indicators because the order changes when you add a uh, acid or a base on a this cloth strip okay so students till now we have discussed about this is the basic property of chemical property of acid and base bases so in the next lecture we will discuss about how do acids and bases react with metals with salts okay and with hydrogen carbonates so these we all will discuss in the next lecture students so stay tuned for the next lecture thank you happy learning